Hi guys, this is Emma for today's video. I'm gonna talk about puffer jackets. So first, I'm going to talk about types of puffers, then I will show you how it's done. And I'm also gonna share some tips. So let's just right into it. We have three different types in puffers according to their length. I'm just gonna talk about two of them because I don't wanna make this video too long. I want to make it short and fun, so I'm going to talk about mid-length and long-length. First, mid-length puffers. So you can choose two types of mid-length puffer jackets, casual and cute, classy and feminine style. So this is the puffer I want to share for cute and casual style. You can see there are no hoodies or furs or something like that. It's very plain, but the color is the point. So the tip is just a colorful one. So it's gonna enhance your outfit in a more like cute way. Mine doesn't have any hoodie, but hoodies are very functional. They can prevent you from the cold weather, wind. So if you like something with hoodies, you can go for that. But it's just my personal preference. <music> The cute and casual one can be your staple items. You can just wear them without any thought. Do you know what I mean? You just put them on whenever you go outside for groceries or hitting the gym. Everyday situation, you can wear mid-length kind of casual style puffer jackets. Alright, so let's move on to second type of mid-length puffer jackets. Classy and feminine style. The point of this puffer jacket is you need to choose the one with waist drawstrings. That's such a game changer. That's gonna make you look like a lady, although you are, you know, cozy and warm puffer jackets. This is the puffer I wanna share. You can see classy and feminine style, and it has like a drawstring band here, so it makes your waist look slimmer and nicer. And you can see the color is soft beige color. There are two tips I can share. You can choose kind of soft neutral colors, for example, beige and khaki. Fabric is very important. Like mine, you need to go with some lightweight puffer jackets kind of no grain of puffer jackets it's okay that's on a little bit heavier side but this kind of feminine classy style of puffer jackets i'd recommend to go with lighter one seriously that's gonna make you look more like a decent lady although you're in a puffer jacket <music> I'm going to share two types of long puffers you can choose to enhance your daily outfit. The first one is trendy puffer jacket. So it's a combination of trench coat and puffer. So this is a trendy puffer jacket. It also has a belt, so you can kind of do belt like trench coat. The point is it has like a fur trimming and it's fully fur lined. So it's also a good tip, you can choose a puffer jacket with fur inside. That inside fur makes everything better. It's so warm and cozy. I just don't want to take that off. It also makes me look stylish, so I highly recommend try this kind of trenchy puffer jacket. <music> is choose a one with fur trimming. I show you guys those kind of things make the puffer jacket look special, unique, but also make you feel cozy and warm. Why not to choose them? Alright, so let's move on to the next long puffers. I'm going to show you two. The first one is a puffer jacket with a drawstring band. This, you can see it has fur trimming detail on the collar and it's fully fur lined. So I feel like I'm wearing a teddy bear, literally. But it also makes me look like a lady, so this is my go-to winter puffer these days. I just wear it constantly, every single day. And I hit the gym in the morning, and also wore this lady. <laughs> It looks like a coat, but it's a puffer jacket. There is a drawstring here, so I can cinch it, so it makes me look 
family. The tent is just a long puffer with a drawstring bend. It's a lightweight long puffer, I told you guys. If you want to look classy and family that kind of style, please go with lightweight. So the same rule is applied to this puffer jacket. It has fur trimming hoodie and it's a zipper one. The other ones I showed you guys before, they don't have a zipper, they have buttons, so it's a little bit inconvenient, but I just get used to that. I sometimes don't like zippers as well because sometimes the zipper gets stuck and I just literally don't know how to solve that problem, so that drives me crazy. Yeah. It has like a waistline already in this style. I think it makes me look like a lady. <laughs> the problem is, it has like a kind of slim waistline, so I cannot wear like a thick sweater inside of that. But there are many heat tags, so we can do layering. So I think that doesn't really matter. So I would recommend you to go with a long puffer with waistline like this. And also for trimming here. for a puffer jacket in black the detail is very important please investigate take some time to choose the right one as i know some puffers are not really cheap so i recommend you to do some research and just google some information about the puffers you will buy so in that way you can use your money in a wise way those are the tips and styles i want to share with you guys i hope you like them all and puffer jackets are amazing items they are cozy warm and you can also do some styling i know it's not really easy to be stylish in the winter season we tend to be lazy and there are not many options but by choosing the right puffer jackets i think we can be more stylish they also affect our mood and confidence so that could affect us to be more productive and have a better day thanks for watching it if you are new i'm emma i create about korean fashion and beauty so if you're interested in that let's just be friends why not and if you follow through this video please give a thumbs up and comment down below what kinds of fashion items you want me to cover in the next video i hope you have a beautiful wonderful great day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys